All right, so I am currently outside of Lake of the Woods Sports Headquarters in Kenora, Ontario, and I have a feeling that this store has a bait in particular that I'm looking for. And that's what this video today is gonna be all about. It's gonna be one bait, or should I say, one brand of baits in particular today. I'm gonna be picking up a couple of baits, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm picking up. I'm gonna go in there, grab them, and we're gonna get to filming. Aha! Uh -huh. What do we have here? That's what we were looking for. Okay, so I just got finished at the fishing store and now I have arrived to my first spot of the day. This is actually going to be a body of water I fished before in a previous video, but I'm covering a completely different section just to change it up a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be setting up exactly. I'm going to be setting up one spinning rod and one bait casting rod with two different Guggen baits. So I already set up my rods, well ish. So here I have the Bandito Bug Green Pumpkin on my straight shank finesse flipping hook, half ounce tungsten weight also in Green Pumpkin. That's going to be my flipping setup. And next I'm going to be setting up Slim Shake wherever the hell I put it. I'm going to be busting these out of the package right now. So they come with a lot of plastic, which I guess is fine. Um, ooh, these are actually really nice. Really supple baits. I don't know if they're going to be fragile, but they're super supple. They even have a little bit of a scent to them. I'm not too sure exactly what it is, but put that in my school bag. So the way I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to be taking a wacky ring and I'm going to hopefully slide it on the bait. Oh yeah, no problem. Slides on the bait, no problem. I'm going to be taking this puppy right here, my weighted wacky hook, which is also weedless. And that's going to be the technique. And I honestly think that's going to be slightly deadly. Um, I don't want to get my own hopes up, but I think that's definitely going to catch me some fish. I also forgot to mention something super important, and that's the fact that I'm going to be pegging my bullet weight because um, I don't want it slipping and sliding everywhere. And I apologize in advance eh, for this wind. It's a really windy day. I always choose the worst days to go fishing, but whatever. So I'm going to be pegging my bandito bug, and I think that's what I'm going to be starting with. I'm going to be dragging bottom with the bandito. I don't even think a fish has touched it yet. Oh god, eh? This isn't looking too good, guys. But I don't think it has anything to do with the bait, honestly. I, I just first impressions is this is gonna be a deadly bait. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cast it parallel to the shoreline and I'm just gonna drag it. Hopefully I get chowed. There we go. Fish on. Oh god, I lifted him straight out. Ooh, look at that guys. First fish of the day. I uh, was not expecting it to be that big when I ripped the hook on him. That's unfortunate. Oh, he's peeing on me. Okay, stay. I was not expecting the first fish of the day to be a little pipsqueak, but I got him on the bandito bug. I'm gonna be getting this little pip squeak back. Um, really not the size we're looking for, but it's a start. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna throw the bandito bug to start here. Oh, nice, 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 nice. I'm gonna start by flipping to the close side of the dock. Oh. Right away. Oh my god. Oh, fish here are super aggressive. Oh my, let's see that again. Must have spooked it. Alright, so I'm just gonna cast along shore here. Nice and parallel. There we go. Nice fish. I think that's a big bass. Oh, big bass, huge bass. 
Wow, I did not expect that. I hope it doesn't come off. That's a really good fish. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, look at the size of that bass. Look at the size of that bass. No way. No way. No, okay, don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Look at that fish. Oh my god. Okay. I'm a believer of the bandito bug. Look at the size of that large. Oh my god. He's huge. I don't know, like three and a half, four pounds maybe. Definitely not my PB, but. Oh my god, how am I gonna do this? Wow, that is a giant fish actually. That is a really big fish. What an awesome largemouth for this far up north. That's crazy. Just gonna go ahead and get him on his way here. He's confused. He's gonna swim off no problem though. He's just confused on where he is. There we go. He's swimming off now. He went right under the dock. Sweet! Bandito bug strikes. So again, we're gonna be going with green pumpkin. That seems to be the ticket for clear water. I mean, summer craw would be a pretty decent color for clear water too, but I just find it a tad unnatural compared to green pumpkin. Green pumpkin is just such a nice natural looking bait. So, and now the tungsten weight, the key for the tungsten weight is not to peg it solid to the bait, it's just to keep it like a couple millimeters in front of it. There we go. Nice fish. Not nearly as big as the last one, but still a very good fish. So just, just for curiosity's sake, let's see how big this one is. Because the other one was much, much bigger than this. This is like maybe at most a pound and a half. At most. Come on, get out. Okay, so like I said, this one is at most a pound and a half. This is, if I had to guess an exact weight, Probably like a pound and a quarter. A pound, three ounces. Is that a pound and a quarter? I don't even think it's a pound and a quarter. And my other one like could almost eat this. So I'm gonna get him back. Oh, hopefully they just get bigger from that one. That would be nice. Bandito bug, you're impressing me. This bait is really impressing me right now. I'm not gonna lie. Green pumpkin, straight shank flipping hook, half ounce. I'm gonna repeat it all video because that's what's working. Let's see. What if I cast straight out? like a giant who just chills in the depths. Oh, on the drop, on the drop. Oh, he's on, on the drop. Not a giant, but he's, he's a good fish. I won't complain with that. Barely hooked. Let's get him. Oh my, I won't complain with that. It's not that small of a fish. All right. So that's probably another pound, pound and a half. We're gonna go ahead and get it right back. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Bandido. You are just killing it today, aren't you? I don't even want to pick up the Slim Shake. This is too fun. This is way too fun. And look at that. The bait is destroyed and I'm still catching fish. I'm gonna go cover some new shorelines. Just by foot, I'm just walking. I'm gonna grab the Bandito and the Slim Shake and uh, See if I can catch a fish. I like the rocks here in front of me. I feel like they should have some fish. Told you. Told you I should have some fish here on these rocks. It's too promising. Oh, he's a good one too. They're all really nice here in this lake. Honestly, these fish are awesome. I have no problem catching this. This one could still get eaten by that what was it, second one I caught? But uh, it's still fun. There we go, nice fish, right from under the bank. Right from under the bank, guys. That's crazy. Nice fish. He literally came out right from under the bank. I was about to pull my bait out, and then this little guy crushed it. 
absolutely crushed it. That is amazing. Hooked him through the tongue. Sweet, little guy, bandito bug. Get you back right where you came from. That's pretty crazy. No way. Oh, it's so small. Can't believe it. Even the small fish eat it. This is what you call a flare fish. This is the type of fish that flare would catch. Small, baby, right back. He had it. Cranked him. Oh, he didn't mess up my bait too much. I have no clue how many fish I caught, but look, all I went through today as far as baits was three bandito bugs. One, two, three, all green pumpkin color. Okay, so I just reviewed the footage from yesterday and you couldn't hear anything because of the horrible wind noise. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna give you my overall thoughts of the bandito bug from yesterday. Oh, nice, I almost broke the rod. I think I'm gonna sit while I do this. So I quickly changed camera angles and I just wanted to give you guys my overall thoughts about the Bandito Bug. So, first impressions, straight out of the package, it's a nice, super soft, supple bait and the plastic quality is just fantastic. It's durable and it's super supple, as I said before. As far as colors go, great colors. I had purchased two. I grabbed Green Pumpkin and Summer Craw and I just found they were two really, really nice colors, really well done. And overall, I just think it's an excellent flipping bait, especially if you've never really done any flipping, or even if you're not planning to use it for flipping, just using it for any technique where you would throw a beaver style bait. That could be a wobble head, it could be a football head, it could be Texas rig, it could even be burning it on the surface if you want to work it like a topwater frog. The limits to a beaver bait like this are pretty much endless. You could do anything with something like this. You could catch largies and you could catch smallies as well as other fish, but the main species you would target with this are largies and smallies. Okay, enough about the Guggen baits. Let's talk a little bit about the rod I was using. So, you guys have seen this in some of my previous videos. This is my Shimano Crucial 7'6 medium heavy, medium fast flipping stick. This is the rod I always have in my hand, especially if I'm flipping clear water. I don't really love using braid. Um, I kind of love the stretch of fluoro. Like, it's just something about flipping with fluoro that I just love. But yeah, like I said, you guys will see me using this all the time, especially here, because the water here is super clear. Back home, I'll use it a bit less. I'll use braid a little bit more because I'll do techniques like punching. But over here, clear water, I'm almost always going to be using fluoro. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this Guggen Baits challenge video. And if you did, go ahead and leave it a like and comment down below for what challenge you want to see me do next. Whether it's a Bates challenge, a real challenge, just comment down below. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're really interested, go ahead and hit that bell button. And that way you'll be notified as to when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time on Fishing OD.